was a friendly but naive king who wed a very nasty queen. The king was loved, but the queen was feared. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nemesis, and we are going to talk about two quick posts today from uh, the, the Redfield siblings. Uh, that is obviously Kaya, who's playing Claire. We're going to talk about a quick post that she made, which is, you know, nothing major, but just showing, you know, that she's working. They're up in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, and they're up there working and it's snowing. You know, it's extreme conditions up there in some areas, and uh, they have to do these night shoots and it's really cold. And so I just wanted to bring a little bit of that to you. And then we're also going to talk about a really cool post that Robbie Amell posted, who was playing Chris Redfield. And obviously these are my two favorite characters in the Resident Evil franchise, so I'm very excited to scrunch them both together for this episode. So first we have a post from Kaya, and she posted this, the start of another week on hashtag Resident Evil, bring on the snow Canada, I'm ready for you. So it's just a really cool shot. Uh, there's a really colorful building in the background. I don't know if that's gonna be used in the movie or not, but it's a beautiful looking building, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, she's obviously on the passenger seat uh, being driven into work. Uh, for the day so i just saw that post i was like yeah it's nothing super major but again just a little behind the scenes people getting up early to go to their film set uh to you know to get to work and the kind of conditions they're working in because we did make that video like last week where i talked about them filming out in front of the rpd with the zombies and they had those tents nearby hopefully to warm people up in between takes now i don't know if everyone got a chance to go in and get warmed up between takes but hopefully that's what those tents were there for uh, because yeah, it's, I'm sure it's cold out up there. It's it's slightly cold in Florida and for Florida. And I think my my mom and stuff in the Carolinas, they're going through like, you know, 50 degree temperature now. So I can only imagine what it's like up in northern Canada, <laughs> like or up in Canada, like no way, man. Um, so anyway, that was Kaya's post about uh, about that. So that's really cool. Like some of these actors, like they're not as involved as Chad Rook is. Like he's posting a lot, uh, not a ton, like not something every day, but he, he posts, yeah, you know, he's getting in touch with the community and he's, you know, sharing his thoughts and stuff. And I really like it. I love what Chad's doing. But also these other uh, people who are playing roles that they really have to keep things under wraps and secret on because we could guess what's going to happen to Richard. But who knows? In this movie, Chris Redfield could die. You know, Joe Valentine could die. Like, it seems unlikely because we're fans and we know those characters have to live on. But someone has to die in this movie, right? Like, so who knows what could happen? You never know. So they have to keep things under wraps. But what's cool is that Robbie Amell posted this image, which is so cool. Because at first glance, you're just like, oh, he posted a gun. Great. No, man. Look at what the gun is leaning on. He says, again, this is the thing that I see Chad Rook post and now Robbie and a couple other people posted this. They say, if you know, you know. And uh, here it is. You get the red herb, the blue herb, and the green herb, uh, which is from the video games. Now, I'm not saying that this means people in the movie are going to roll these up and smoke them and heal themselves or, or grind them up and pepper them onto a wound or something to heal themselves. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying, like, these could be props in the movie. Like, maybe no one will actually pick one up and use it because, yeah, that kind of doesn't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> um, but um, but it, it's still cool to see them represented here. And again, they could just be random props for the movie, which is fine. They look great. They look very video game accurate. There's the red herb, which uh, by itself does nothing in the video games. Uh, there's the blue herb, which by itself will heal you from poison. So if a snake bite you or if the spiders bite you um then use the blue herb to uh to take the poison away and if you have a green herb that heals you but if you mix a green and a blue it enhances the healing effect and it cures you of the poison and then also if you mix the red with the green then you will triple the strength of the green herb so if you're dying you're next to death and you mix a red and green you could bring you almost to full health if you mix all three herbs together, it'll completely cure you of all ailments, bring you way back to full health, and cure you of poison if you've been poisoned. So um, so yeah, I doubt that mechanic is going to really be used in the movie, but it's just still cool to see. Because honestly, when I first saw this image, I saw the I saw the gun, and I my eyes went right to it. I was like, oh, it's got the Stars logo. It's so cool. Oh my god, the herbs. So uh, so yeah, I didn't even... In, it took me like two seconds to notice the herbs, which is, uh, so yeah. So when I first glance, I just, I'm drawn to like, you know, the, the guns look cool and they're very video game accurate. So, uh, so I was just like, oh, cool. The gun, holy crap, the herbs. Like it was like a one, two like that. So, uh, so I wanted to share this video, this, uh, picture with you because I don't know if some of you seen it. It did go up tonight a couple hours ago, but it's just cool to see these guys, you know, teasing the fans and getting so into this. I mean, 
we are getting no news about Venom right now. So my other channel is just suffering because I, I'm just like, all right, I'll read a comic about Venom and do that. And it's, it's, I noticed some people are like, oh man, we miss when you talk about movie stuff. Well, here we are. We got plenty of Resident Evil movie stuff and I still have enough content for four or five more episodes after this that we'll get to. But I just wanted to, this is where I'm going to stop tonight. So you guys let me know what you think of this. You know, the herbs, are you excited to see them as background props probably for the movie? Or do you actually think someone's going to grind one of these up and use them to heal themselves? You know, maybe uh, if Rebecca's in a movie or, or, you know, maybe they'll make Jill a medic or have a medic background or something, or Chris will or something be in the Air Force. Who knows? Maybe they'll do something like that and they'll try to heal Richard Aiken from his snake bite wound with one of these herbs. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. I'm going to bed now. It's like one in the morning. I filmed a couple of videos. I'll try to get them up to you guys uh, later today or, or sometime soon. And then I'll try to record the other ones tomorrow before I go to work and get those up over the weekend. So thank you all so much. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.